In this video we shall take question number 28 of miscellaneous exercise of chapter 7, Integrals, of N, C, E, R, T Maths Textbook, Class 12. Hello friends, the question is like this. Evaluate the definite integral. Sin x plus cos x, upon square root of sin 2x dx from the limit pi by 6 to pi by 3. Let us see that how we shall solve this question. I would like to tell you that question is tricky and a good question to be solved by substitution method. Firstly I assume the definite integral as equal to i. To begin solving, I take the value sin e2x, the value in the square root of the denominator. Firstly I write sin e2x as equal to 2 sin x into cos x then I add 1 and subtract 1. I'm using the identity sin square x plus cos square x equal to 1. We get 1 minus sin square x minus cos square x plus 2 into sin x into cos x. Further it can be written as 1 minus in bracket sine square x plus cos square x minus 2 sine x into cos x, or 1 minus sine x minus cos x whole square. Placing the value of sine 2x in the integral we get i equal to sine x plus cos x upon square root of 1 minus sine x minus cos x whole square dx from the limit pi by 6 to pi by 3. Now you can see that differentiation of sin x minus cos x is equal to cos x plus sin x which is there in the numerator. So, the reason why we solved sin e2x was to make the substitution possible for solving the integral. On substituting sin x minus cos x as equal to t on differentiation of both sides with respect to x, we get cos x plus sin x dx equal to dt. The value of upper limit will change to sin pi by 3 minus cos pi by 3, equal to root 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 or root 3 minus 1 upon 2. The value of lower limit will change to 2 to sin pi by 6 minus cos pi by 6 equal to 1 by 2 minus root 3 by 2 or 1 minus root 3 by 2 or minus root 3 minus 1 upon 2. Therefore on substitution, we get i as equal to 1 by square root of 1 minus t square dt from the limit minus root 3 minus 1 upon 2 to root 3 minus 1 upon 2. Now if we assume that f of t equal 1 by square root of 1 minus t square then f of minus t is equal to 1 by square root of 1 minus minus t whole square, which on simplifying, gives 1 by square root of 1 minus t square. So we get f of t as equal f of minus t therefore f is an even function. Applying the property of definite integrals that fx dx from minus a to a is equal to 2 times fx dx from 0 to a, when it is known that f is an even function. So we can write i as equal to 2 times 1 by square root of 1 minus t square dt from the limit from 0 to root 3 minus 1 upon 2. Since the integral of 1 by square root of 1 minus t square dt is equal to sine inverse t so we get value of i equal to sine inverse of t from 0 to root 3 minus 1 upon 2, which gives the value of i as equal to 2 times sine e inverse root 3 minus 1 upon 2 minus sine inverse of 0. Now the value of sine inverse of 0 is 0 so we get i as equal to 2 times sine e inverse root 3 minus 1 upon 2 which is the required answer. Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.